Well, this is the famous Cape Coast Castle. Um, very well known for um, activities related to slavery in the 1400s, coming all the way down to the 1900s. Mm. And it served as a bastion for a lot of colonial powers, um, the British, the Dutch, the Portuguese, mm. and all those who at one point owned the castle. This was a trading post in terms of commercial activity, but a lot of the things that were carried out here too was the slavery. So one where, of the things that was traded yeah, was, was humans. people. Yeah, peoples. Yeah, this is where they were held before they were shipped off to the Americas. And why do you think it's important for the Obamas to come here during their visit to Ghana? Well, um, for me, if I want to speak as a tourism person, I think this is one of our most important historical sites that documents things that happened. And for the Obamas, um, if they are black, there's a heritage angle of it. Um, for Michelle especially, that she's able to reconnect back to where her ancestors came from. So for me, that is where the connection is. You know. What do you think this visit means to Africans and to African Americans? Well, the visit means a lot. You know, when you look at the back of that door, door of no return, and then look at the opposite side, door of return. Basically, what it means is that they are coming back home. They didn't go on their own volition, but this time they are coming back home on their own volition. That is the big difference. And they are coming back having acquired skills, knowledge, things that can be imparted into their native land. So basically, that's the significance. The president chose Ghana for his first trip to sub-Saharan Africa. Why? Well, I think I, um, Ghana is pretty much a stable country. Ever since we embarked on this democratic experiment, let me use the word experiment, We've gone through successive elections, transferring power from one party to the other, you know. And it's gone on peacefully. We are stable democracy. Um, I think the United States, being the bastion of democracy, so wants to reward countries that have also started on that journey. And they can definitely not rule Ghana out. If you look around us, there's, there are countries going through all kinds of situations. Ivory Coast, right on our border, the country was basically split into two until recently where they tried to fashion out a peace agreement. Um, elsewhere, it's all chaotic, but we still remain an island of peace, and therefore, for me, that is what was a clincher. Recently, some offshore oil was discovered. Do you think that that's part of the reason that the United States wants to form a closer relationship with Ghana, because they want a friendly partner in the oil well, business? Well, you cannot rule that out. I mean, of course, everybody understands that the U.S. always has interests where they can find some of these things. But I, I look at the broader picture. I think it's genuine when you want to meet people because you are doing something right. Ghana is getting it right, and I think that is what is the main thing. What is it that you would like to see moving forward in your relationship with the U.S.? Well, for us, we would like to see more FDI, foreign direct investment, because that is what actually enables countries to develop at a faster pace. How do you expect the country is going to greet President Obama? What, what will we see on Friday and Saturday? Well, they would, you know, people in Accra would always be at the roadside. Wherever his convoy passes, they'll be there to extend greetings to him. And, you know, they have very good... And warm wishes um, for him and his family. You know. So that's what Accra and Ghana would do. We are warm people. You know, we would extend that to him. What does it mean for Ghanaians that he's coming here? Well, for us, um, the first black president coming back to Africa and coming to Ghana, which was the home of most black personalities who were engaged in the freedom fights in the United States, is very significant. We've embarked on a journey that has proven to be very fruitful. And therefore, we have a president who is also coming back to say, look, you've done this very well, and I'm here to share in that with you.